Well, I just reviewed Fifty Shades of Grey, I guess it's only fitting that I take a look at the parody Fifty Shades of Black, which was directed by Michael Titus and stars Marlon Wayans and Kelly Hawk. The plot for this movie is pretty much the same as Fifty Shades of Grey, almost shot for shot, with a few minor differences here and there. Except, of course, this one is at least trying to be a comedy. I will say this was better than I expected, which admittedly is not saying a whole lot because my expectations were pretty low going in, uh, about as low as the attendance in that theater. I think I was one of 10 people in there, give or take, but it wasn't all bad. It, it wasn't good, definitely wasn't good, but it wasn't completely horrible either. It does have its moments. And some of the best moments in this movie come when it is directly taking apart Fifty Shades of Grey. And I will give the writers credit for that. They understand what is wrong with this movie and how to poke fun at it. And they do that very well to their credit. For example, when Christian just coincidentally shows up at the hardware store Hannah works at, she just flat out says, are you stalking me? <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. That's cool, right? You're okay with that. And the scene when Christian first introduces Hannah to his Red Room of Pain. Hannah takes one look around that room and just says, Fuck this, I'm out of here. Thank you. Unfortunately, beyond that, the funny moments are few and far between. A lot of the humor in this movie really just seems to boil down to Black people, am I right? This is the movie, not me. I just want to make that clear, this is the movie. Don't shoot the messenger, please. For example, when Christian buys Hannah a car, much like the original movie, in this movie he doesn't actually buy the car, he just steals it. And doesn't even try to hide the fact that he stole it. He doesn't need to steal it because he's a filthy rich businessman and he could buy a hundred of those cars outright, but... Because... Black? I, again, this is the movie, not me. Not me, but... Seriously, what the hell, Marlon? I especially did not like Hannah's roommate in this movie. Oh, dear lord, no. The character is at least loosely based on Anna's roommate from the original, which I don't think I mentioned in my review because, honestly, the character doesn't serve all that much of a purpose, but the character's name in the original was Catherine Kavanaugh. In this movie, it's Katisha Kavahelna, which... Okay, the name is kind of funny if you're familiar with the source material, I'll give it that. But this character is so annoying. So annoying, and the jokes are just so fucking cheap. She wears tight-fitting, skimpy clothing, which is funny because she's fat. Get it? Huh? Yeah, it's like that. And throughout the movie, they do several jokes trying to convince us that Hannah is ugly, which doesn't really work when the character is played by Callie Hawk, who has worked as a fucking model before. Yeah, the outfit she's wearing in that opening scene looks like it came off the rack at Goodwill, but that's not nearly enough to make her ugly. I will say this, Wayans and Hawk have infinitely more charisma than Jamie Dornan and Dakota Johnson in Fifty Shades of Grey. The script they're working with sucks, but at least they're trying. I will give them that much. The movie largely sticks to just a strict parody of Fifty Shades of Grey, which is weird considering how these things usually work. Typically, with these spoof movies nowadays, they just throw a bunch of shit at the wall to see what sticks, and just throw in reference after reference after reference. Not really the case here, although there are a few references to other things that they throw in. There's a scene with a Magic Mike parody, for example, which just comes right the fuck out of nowhere and wasn't particularly funny. There's a scene where they introduce the older woman that seduced Christian when he was a teenager, who, in Fifty Shades of Grey, Anna jokingly calls her Mrs. Robinson. In this movie, they just flat out call her Mrs. Robinson, that's actually her name. And she's played by Florence Henderson, of all people. I don't know what she's doing in this movie, but we all gotta pay rent, I guess. And that scene turned into a parody of Whiplash. I'm not sure why. And there's a moment that you may have seen in the trailer where Christian does a parody of Kim Kardashian's Break the Internet thing. 
This gives you an idea of how long ago they wrote this script, doesn't it? And one of the movie posters is even a parody of the James Bond For Your Eyes Only poster. I'm not sure why there aren't any James Bond references in the movie that I can recall, but... Whatever works, I guess. So, final verdict? If this pops up on cable and you got 90 minutes to kill, there are probably worse things you could do with your time, but that's as high a recommendation as I can possibly give this one. Do not waste your money on seeing it in theaters. It's not worth it. And that's all I got to say about Fifty Shades of Black. So until next time, take care.